Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete, and this is my video newsletter. The topic of today's newsletter is when everything around you says to quit, don't. When I got accepted into RAM, Race Across America, R-A-A-M, Race Across America, considered the world's toughest bike race. It's a 3,000 mile bike race across America. You have to do it in 12 days to finish official. You go over two mountain ranges and through a desert. The total climbing in those mountain ranges is 110,000 feet. Mount Everest, to give you an idea, is 29,000 feet. By the time you go across the United States, you would have climbed more than three Mount Everests in height. Anyway, I remember when I got accepted in the race, it was such a huge honor. I had seen this in, in race like 30 years older on earlier on Wide World of Sport, Sports. I thought it was the craziest thing there was. And I would never in a million years have believed that I would be showing up there and doing it now 30 years later. I remember when we started, when, when we did the start, there were 27 of the world's greatest endurance cyclists and me. And we had to go down this ramp to start and make this sharp right hand turn. And I remember all I could think when I was at the top of that ramp and they announced my name was, please, please, please don't fall on the ramp. And I made it down that ramp and I made that turn and I would go on to bike 285 miles a day. It was a solid day. To make the 12 day cutoff in ram or, or even just, just to start out with the four day cutoff, you needed to average 260 miles a day so I was 25 miles of the day day two the Mojave Desert I remember when we entered the Mojave Desert the temperature was 107 degrees and that whole day is nothing but a blur I can just remember like biking in that heat and I was having all kinds of stomach trouble I was nauseous all day long I don't know if you've ever had that feeling when you're nauseous all day long, but that's what I had. I've been testing a new program of, of doing five, of intake of 500 calories an hour, and it wasn't working. My normal calorie intake was 300, but I'd gone to 500 because of the, how the length of, of RAM and figuring that if I could you know, keep all those calories in, that's what I would need to drive me for this long of a race. But anyway... I got into this nauseous state, like I felt like I was going to puke all day long. Here I am in this 170 degree heat, and I feel like I'm going to puke all day long. All I can remember was being on the side of the road and bending over and having these dry heaves and, and being passed by these other riders just being passed. And I remember the thing that I finally, when I came out of this blur, I remember it was when I got to the edge of the desert, Congress, Arizona. The aid station in Congress, Arizona at mile 395. And I felt like hell. I'd been cooked by the desert all day long. And I was nauseous and sick all day long. And you know what? When I got to that aid station, I must have looked like hell. Because those aid station workers, they gave me the look. I'd seen it before. They thought I was cooked. They thought I was done. They thought I was finished. Worst of all, the look I could see in their eyes was they felt sorry for me. I walked over to this little kiddie pool they had there to cool off the riders after you come out of the desert. And I laid down in this little kiddie pool and I put my head on the edge of the kiddie pool. And I looked out and I watched as the aid station workers were starting to clean up the aid station. And I asked one of the workers there, I said, am I in last like it wasn't obvious. And he said, yes. And I said, how long ago did second to last leave? Two hours ago. I said, two hours ago. I laid back in that little kiddie pool. And I remember I stared up at the next obstacle. And it was starting to get dark. So it was twilight. And I stared up at Yarnell Grade. It's a steep nine mile climb out of the desert right after you get out of Congress, Arizona. And I stared up at this hill and I watched as these aid station workers were taking this aid station apart. And I thought to myself, Bill, this is a decisive moment. This is a decisive moment. Everybody and everything says to quit. 
They all, all, everybody there thought I was going to quit. If I was logical, I should quit. But there was something deep down inside of me that wasn't going to let me quit. It was not. There was a drive deep down inside of me that was not going to let my race end in that little kiddie pool in Congress, Arizona. And I found that what the best way is to go on, what I found the best way is to go on when every, everybody around you and everything logical tells you to quit is to just start. So I remember I stood up in that little kiddie pool and I felt like hell. And I stood up in that little kiddie pool and I put my shoes and socks on and I started walking over to my bike in the dark. And then I looked at these aid station workers and they were all giving me the look. They were all like astonished, but I didn't say a word to them. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't talk to my crew. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't want to give anybody a chance of talking me out of going on. I just walked over. I clipped in my shoes and my pedals. And I started pedaling into the dark. And as I was riding up towards Yarnell Grade, the last thing I heard was, Go Bill! One of the aid station workers had yelled it. I would go on to ride a disappointingly low 185 miles that day. But I would go on to finish Ram in 16 days. Four days after the cutoff. I gave it everything I had. I rode 18 hours a day on that bike seat. And I finally finished and I came in after 18 days, excuse me, 16 days and finished. And you know what? There was no better feeling. I'm telling you, even though I finished it unofficially, it still was a huge deal. It was a huge deal to myself, my team. It was a big deal. None of us, and I mean none of us, wanted my race to end in that little kiddie pool. So the lesson I want to give you is that if you're up against it, if everything is saying you need to quit and everybody is giving you that look like you need to quit, you, against all odds, just stand up and start moving forward and keep moving forward until you finish, even if it takes 16 days. Anyway... Thank you very much. And if you're interested, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. You can email me at Epic Bill Bradley if you have a question. I'm also interested at EpicBillBradley at gmail.com. And if you got a comment, definitely fill in a comment. Put up the thumb, mostly thumb up idea, but if you need to put a thumb down, do that. Um, but let us know how you feel about the video. And then if you're interested in me talking to your team, your group, your company, your organization. Don't hesitate. Send me an email at epicbillbradley at gmail.com and we will get back to you with some information. Thank you very much. Have a great day.